podcast. Shout out to all those who save your seeds and plant them next year. Um, buying the same seeds over and over is stressful and it's not necessary. I decided to try to do a small series of seed saving. What I'm going to start with is my um, squash or pumpkin. Simple. Cut the squash or pumpkin open, open up, and take all the seeds out and let them dry. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes you have to do a germination test to figure it out, and I think I'm going to do that in another video. But for starters, I had like, uh, I want to say like six different kind of varieties of squash or pumpkin that were growing in my backyard over the summer. And one thing about squash and pumpkin is they cross pollinate. So when they cross pollinate, you're not going to get a plant that is true to parent. The bees are going to go around furling chick after chick after chick. And she is going to make babies and they're not going to look like she looks or they may not look like the daddy looks or they may look a little different. I don't know another way to say it. I'm sorry. That's just how I explain things. So if you were to buy a pretty orange pumpkin and then you were also to buy a butternut squash, you might get something the next year after saving those seeds right in the middle. Mm -hmm. One year I went to a seed company and they said here we got a mix of different kinds of seeds and I got one um, thing that looked like a Hubert squash except it was white and it had stripes like a pumpkin has down it and I was like wow that's crazy. So then what did I do? I cut it open. I took out all the flesh on the inside, the pumpkin flesh. Um, I guess you call that the flesh. No, you call that the meat. I took out all the meat on the inside and removed all the seeds and I boiled it up real good. Then after I boiled it up real good, I put it in the blender with some coconut milk and some spinach and I threw some seasoning on it and I threw it on the stove in a pot and I boiled it and I put some bread with it and we had a nice soup. It didn't matter what it looked like, it still was a really nice soup. So it's not a waste to have um, cross-pollinated plants they're worth it but anyway I grew all kinds of pumpkins like I said and all kinds of squash and I started to save the seeds and since I was saving the seeds my son is looking at me crazy because he knows that I'm talking to myself I saved some of the seeds when you get seeds that are successful that will give you beautiful plants when you get them and you squeeze them I dropped it when you squeeze them, you can feel the center is hard. It's dried out enough, and it's hard. That's what most of mine did. Well, mine did. So I just put it on a plastic plate and allowed it to dry. I have so many different varieties. They look different. Let's see. And if they're flat, because all of them didn't work. If they're flat and there's nothing in the center, they're not going to give you anything. Don't even waste your time trying to um, save them up. Let's see if I can find a good one in here. Is there a good one in this batch? Here's a good one. Here's a good one right there. When you press on it and it's good, you know it's good because it feels like there's a rock on the inside of it. Another one. Totally different shape. Same thing. Nice and full. Another group, same exact thing, dried out, nice, full, you press it, and it's hard on the metal. Now, naturally, I have to show you something that failed. These failed. I don't know the reason why they failed. It could have failed because I took them off of the, um, off the vine too early. I didn't allow them to ripe. They weren't big enough. There's a lot of reasons. I don't know. But I wanted to demonstrate when you try this and it doesn't work and you try to press it it's going to sound like like cheap sunflower seeds can you see that it's going to break it's going to crumble up it's worthless 
even if it is a little hard in the middle and it's, it, it'll feel like it has an air bubble in it. So these did not work. They crunch up and you hear that? That's not good. That's not success. That what happened to have one that's in there? No, that's not success. They're, they're damaged. They're not good. So that's something to look out for. So your pumpkins are pretty much easy to grow because I see um, a lot of my neighbors after Halloween and Thanksgiving, they just took all those pumpkins and all those beautiful warty ones and gray ones and white ones and big ones and flat shaped ones and just put them out in the dumpster. How'd you get the light to turn on? My budget. Anyway, they took them and they put them outside in a dumpster and I was just thinking, wow, now if I went and I grabbed all the pumpkins and saved all the seeds, I might get judged, but you know what, at least I would have some seeds for next year and they would be mine, but I didn't do that because I didn't want to embarrass the kids. But anyway, um, if you have any questions about... Um, Saving seeds with squash or pumpkins. Just let me know. Thank you guys for watching.